started. Okay, so let's go and do some more. So on the back then we had some laces that we'd started to put in but they didn't work very well. Uh, let's go and add that back in again. I'm going to take uh, symmetry off here. Oops. So we have to do these one at a time, obviously. Oops. Pressing escape between each one, of course. OK, so it's just a question of going through and sort of adding things as you want them, really. You could put a, uh, a hem around there. You could put some uh, underwiring into there. Uh, and you could put some devices on, which I'll, uh, I'll do now. OK. So I've got a bunch of alphas here, which are uh, our pens. And in this case, we don't appear to have uh, the option to use the stamp, which is slightly annoying. Oh. So you see this is uh, upside down according to what we want. On your keyboard, not the number pad, you can use 9 and 0 to spin those round. So not the number pad, but your normal keys keys. So you just pop that round until you're as you want to be. I'm not in the right mode as usual. Okay, so you can drag that out and it will print it. just doing this till I get to the right bit so that's about as I want it ok so let's uh, try that one see what that looks like Fill the empty parts as usual. Okay. So if we're going to the material room. Uh, see that's refreshed itself, which is very handy. And uh, let's render it out and see what it looks like. Now I've rendered that out, and as you can see. That is uh, quite subtle, and we can't really see the dragon motif. Um, this is because uh, if we looked at the actual image itself here, the motif is much darker than the um, stays there, um, meaning that it's going to be lower. And since we've made it so extremely subtle, it's difficult to see, we would have to up that number to see if we can see anything at all. Let's try that. OK, so there we can see that the dragon motif has come out, but now this is far too um, exaggerated. Now, this is largely down to how we've done things here. If I do the Control z there, and then increase my bump like that, Oops. Let's get that in there. One way or another. Okay. 
it's a question of making that stronger uh, and bringing that down now just to explain um, our displacement map here this grey is zero that won't displace anywhere white is the most it will displace in a positive uh, direction and below this grey down to black black being the lowest indentation it will do so let me just go here because this should be now uh, a little bit more pronounced so we'll do a texture export again get this to uh, load itself back in again <laughs> there we go so we can see that that is now whiter than these because it's higher I hope that makes some sense to you um, so we should be able to drop this down a little bit Oops, didn't mean to do that. And I'll just render it out so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so we've uh, made that more prominent then, and these are um, not too excessive. And it would now be a question of adding colour and doing all those things, and textures and such like. And job done. Uh, yeah. I, I realise that's not uh, looking particularly attractive or anything, but it, you know, that's the general idea of what you need to do. Uh, it's nothing too stressful. Uh, knowing about the um, displacement map is helpful, because that makes life a lot much easier when you know white is positive, black is negative, etc, etc. Uh, yeah, there you go. I hope that's been useful. I'll see you again soon.